president of Egypt. <laughs> so weird how he got elected. <laughs> Uh-uh. hear about that Gods of Egypt movie? I have heard of it, and it like, being, what, a huge flop? But I don't know anything else about well, it. Well, like, yeah. Because it's, like, the most insanely whitewashed thing of all time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, Gods that, of Egypt, that's where that's everyone's a white, white person? Like, what? <laughs> cool. Yeah, like, sweet movie. <laughs> yeah. I heard it was just a special effects Bonanza. Oh. Who know. did? Do you know who directed it or anything like no that? No idea. I don't even know anyone that's in it. I don't know that there's very many famous people attached to that movie, but I don't know. See, see, that's the sort of thing where I, where I wonder, like, how did this get funding? Yeah. How did they greenlight this as a thing? Maybe oh. because of like, who did the like Noah movie and stuff came out that people were into? Oh to? God, I don't know. It was somebody. Yeah. Not not Definch. It was somebody like that, though. It was definitely a person. It was a person that I've heard A person of. with a name. Oh, yeah. Wait. I wonder what happens if I do this. Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I like the build-up. Oh! Ah, <laughs> There's so many monsters on this boat, but we're going to fight each and every one of them because that's what you do when supposedly you're on a it is quest. easy to hit the max level in this game though so there will, there will come a point where we have no return on that find out investment. what the cap is do it God. I demand it yeah, we just crack boss in the air. yeah know. half rations you hear about the whole that there were the Oscars I feel like that might have been a couple weeks ago at this point <laughs> what about the Oscars um how uh my movie my damn movie Mad Max won like six or seven Oscars, but not Best Picture somehow. I know, I did hear like, that. What the fuck? I agree. All right, let me see here. I was just really glad the Danish girl didn't win. I don't even. I don't know what that movie is. It's a bad movie. Wait, was it nominated for Best Picture? Mm, I think so. It's yeah. one with Eddie Redmayne playing a trans woman. Oh, you told me about that. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. I'm just gonna have to fuck. I'm just gonna have to fucking Google it. Okay, Google it. And then whatever movie won, I hadn't even heard of. Oh yeah, was it? I don't mm. remember. I don't. I haven't seen a lot of those. The Oscar nominees. No, I mean I usually, I usually haven't do. seen most of them, but. I saw frickin' Mad Max and it won a thousand awards but not Best Picture and it drives me crazy. Did it even win any for acting? No. Or anything it was like, like all, it was like all like production design, stuff. which yeah. was kind of cool. But and sound design, was... which was well deserved. Sure. <clears throat> but like, would be cool. At some point, yeah, it almost seems like, it's, in, it's really awesome, but it also seems like token acknowledgement to a certain degree. Yeah. Right. We can't with a genre picture. Anyway. Here's here's a max level you would never guess in a, in a million years, except you would guess in a million years just by naming numbers, but okay. it's 41. Weird. Mm. Not 50. 41. Not 40. 41. That's a really bizarre level cap. Mm -hmm. I presume that is way above the level that you need to actually beat this game, but... Yeah, which tells me that we're within striking distance as it stands. Oh yeah, for sure. We just gotta fight all these monsters in the boat. All the monsters. Watch as we like we plan to finish this game tonight, and then there's still. Like, I know. We're, I think there's only one more like real dungeon. Well, I mean, this is not. Well, this is. I didn't know the boat was gonna be such a an ordeal. I mean, Utah Jack knew it was full of monsters, but we didn't. Yeah, maybe she heard them or saw them from a distance. Can you imagine a boat full of this many monsters? And maybe she smelled them. Holy racket. She is known for her keen sense of smell. But they don't, like, run around. They just sit there. Well, but the lion is making noise the whole time. Ma, ma, maybe, ma. <laughs> maybe he only does that once you show up. No, I bet Before he was that, howling across the He's, he's the quietly bay. reading three books at once. Ooh, good job, lion. Oh, I, I can't jump over the Wow. Those That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, how do I get up there? I want to go I'm going to say take the stairs. Um, okay. Seems logical. I want to get up here. Huh. Oh, you gotta oh, come at it from beneath. Hold on. 
Like, look, I'm, it's like I'm gonna climb on it. Oh, wait, really? Well, see, she's oh, taking the weird. position. Yeah, what? I know, I, okay. What the hell is that? I don't know, but that looks like a big rope, too. I'm so confused. Anyway, onward and upward. I'm really downward, actually. Well, yes. Down into the bowels of the ship. Into the bowels. Oh, it's... No, it's much uh, easier to see down here. It is. Oh, there's demons down here. Demon ship. I didn't notice up to this point that they have two swords. Oh, oops. Honestly, I didn't either. Look Maybe this one has two swords and the others didn't. I don't they know. got a little, little, you know, short sword. Wakazashis. Wakizashi. Wazikaji. Wazikajis. I don't really know which way that goes, actually. What? What the... Is it wa Wakizashi or Wasikashi? Oh. Uh, I thought it was Wakizashi. I have no idea. But I have no idea. Isn't that a move for... Um, what's his name? In Final Fantasy X? Your, your Jimbo? Oh, that would... Yeah, I think you're right. I think all of his moves are named after swords. Have you ever seen your Jimbo? In... The movie? No. No. It's uh, Toshiro Mifune in it. It's a Kurosawa movie. I have not. It's the movie that um, Sergio Sergio Leone basically ripped the plot from to make Pistol of Dollars with Clint Eastwood. Which is also a movie I haven't seen. I think Kurosawa might have actually sued him. Oh, really? For like basically remaking his movie. Wow. <laughs> without his permission. And both of those, if I remember correctly, are both based on a Dashiell Hammett short story called Red Harvest, where the... P.I. slash Ronin slash Lone Gunslinger enters a town where two factions are at war with each other and plays them against each other. Hmm. Yeah. I'm really fascinated by the interplay, especially with Kurosawa, because he was kind of... Well, the whole like Japanese film industry at the time was like... they The, the early Japanese film industry, I think, really modeled its, its studio system after Hollywood of the time. Hmm. But, um... I know Kurosawa and Ozu were both like huge cinephiles, and um, I don't know. This just fascinates me that it was a like an American detective story that kind of partially inspired Yojimbo, and then which inspired Italian westerns. Yeah, that's crazy. Tr truly global cinema. Mm. It's so bizarre how it goes around like that. But it's really good. I like it. Mm, good. It's got my. It's got one of my favorite actors in it, Tatsuya Nakadai. Living or dead? Uh, he actually, I believe, is still alive. Wow. I'm pretty sure he was just in a movie recently. Oh really? Oh, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Oop, I should have divided them up like that. But yeah, I think he is. But he played a bunch of. I thought it was really interesting because he plays... <laughs> oh, well, alright, I guess we both got... I was like, what, did the game break? <laughs> <laughs> oh, game crashed. Game... Couldn't possibly lose. Oh, it did that for me. Anyway, hmm. he pl he plays like the anti... And Ruben's dead again. Mif Mifune in a couple of different movies. Including Sword of Doom. Sword of Doom. My favorite Samurai movie so far. Yeah. yeah, that's my line. I heal all you touch it. Why? So that I don't die. But he what? wasn't he wasn't gonna die from that round. She was almost dead. No. And half health. Half health, I mean, it's gonna take two rounds of combat. Oh god. The fucking or, uh, The stoning is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the worst fight ever in Alright, you definitely game. gotta kill one. Okay, in the hold first on. Turn. Let me just let me just do let me just bust out some of them. Yeah, the hot magic. Do something else here. Yeah, there you go. Just flare him real quick. Give him a quick flare. Unless they petrify me immediately. Wow. <laughs> petrify both party members. Done. Oh, that did nothing. Is did is meteors stronger than flare? Well, let's find out. It's it's so strange that we have meteor and flare. I know. No, oh, they're strong against oh. Earth Attack. Fuck that. Oh my god. This, this sucks! 
So bad. Let's try holy ones real quick. Yeah. Or white. Oh no. my god. <laughs> okay, hold on. We will try <coughs> holy again now. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, Ruben has white now. Really? Yeah. Weird. Maybe Ruben has always had white. <laughs> we just never noticed. Why are we not just using these spells? I don't know. Why not? Yeah, we have 100,000 C's, lest you forget. We do. Alright, so far Flare is the best. Yeah, Flare is the best. I'm surprised that these these spells do so little damage to these dudes. Um, Ruben... it, it seems like this is one of the rare Final Fantasies where just magic, endgame magic, is not really the best strategy. At least, like, I think it's still because it's dividing the damage amongst the enemy party. Like, it does much more damage on a single target, you know? Yeah, but, I mean, even in some of the other games that we've played... Uh oh Oh. Oh, no. Oh, now we're lost. Uh, what a mansion. <laughs> ship mansion. A mansion of the sea. Did say ship mansion? Ship mansion. Oh. I thought that was... You are just calling it right out. I think this mansion not to is be, garbage. Not to be confused. Excuse me? Uh, not to be confused with Chip Mansion, my porn star alter ego. Ch Chip Mansion? <laughs> yeah. That's a beautiful name. <laughs> I know you're very popular. Mm. Ch Chip Mansion. <laughs> Are you known for your mansion? Is that... What's the... <laughs> also, I love that you picked the name Chip. <laughs> There you go. You sound really, yeah, refined and worldly. Yeah, I mean, Chip implies, you know, the sort of beefy, you know, hot bod that you expect. Oh, I was thinking... But Mansion ex it implies, you know, the wealth and, you know, yeah, sophistication chip. that you look for in a male porn star. <laughs> certainly what I look for. <laughs> um, I was going to say, Chip really ha expresses this kind of the carefree... Joie de vivre of youth, <laughs> but mansion carries with it a certain level of ma maturity. Yeah. That is really what I look for. I think that might be the you know best best combination of uh, you know personality traits is like you know mature but whimsical and carefree. You know. That's why he's gone so far <laughs> and so long. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. what a bummer. He's a really good guy, though. Yeah, he's a great guy. He gives a lot back to his community. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of STDs. Whoa. <laughs> he... Chip Mansion, Ryan, is a very careful and very... <laughs> um... Careful, yet passionate lover. That's right. <laughs> That's why his material is so revolutionary. I'm really starting to, get, I'm really starting to like this Chip Mansion character. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, you know Chip's slogan. You, 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 you can do whatever you want if you tr try. Wait, what? <laughs> that's his. That's his slogan. You can do it. <laughs> That's the slogan? You can do it? Yeah, there's some variation on one of those things. Okay, I got it. You know, you, you can do it. You got, you can... Porn star, it makes it. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a kind, it's a kind of joke. I get it. It's, it's in the neighborhood of a joke. I got yeah, it. listen nearby. <laughs> if you rang doorbells for a while, you might find somebody in that neighborhood. Oh, thought it was weak against wind. Interesting. Maybe what, I should be using this. What a useful piece of information to have. I feel like somebody told us that arrow is good. What a useful piece of information to forget immediately. I remember it now. Shit, I don't know. But look at that. Those two <laughs> items were just uh, those three items were all of the last key items in the game. Oh my god! Yeah, we're, key, so we, we have to be way by the e way by the end. <laughs> <laughs> We're right them. next to it. We just gotta move oh, one gargoyles good over. Too. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, because they're like flying, I guess. Oh my god, but a wind and a 
Oh wait, it won't kill them still. Just get him out of here. Don't snow me. You don't snow me. That's what I'd say. You don't snow me, bro. I feel like our tornado, mm -hmm. our arrow, is more transparent than when the enemies do it to us. I agree, and it makes me feel like our tornado isn't as cool and powerful. It's bigger, but, you know, it's more see-through. I would take a tinier but more opaque tornado over a larger but transparent tornado any day of the week. Agree. But that's just me. That's what I look for in a, that's what I look like in a tornado. Good friends gaming, taking a stand on tornadoes. 2K16. Our platform is built on strong tornado preferences. I thought you were going to say strong currents of air. <laughs> <laughs> oh good, this was just a empty dead end to nowhere? Mm, maybe. Sweet. Wait, there's stairs over there? How do I get there? Did I miss something right now? I don't know. Oh. I there's that top left path that we definitely didn't go down. Oh no, that's more stairs. Hold on. Okay, we'll go. We'll go. What the fuck? So this is designed to be what? A trap zone? Because you fell down in from yeah, the hole? Yeah. Probably. A little maze that you could dump in. You gotta find the way up. Yes, we do. Cast all the spells, Utah Jack. Well, hot darn it, she says. Did you know that I did a stream last night? No. Tracy and I did a chill stream of, of oh. Runner 2. How was that? It was How'd fun. it go? It was good. We've got through the first two worlds. Right Perfect plus right. every level on easy. Heck yeah. I'm just going to keep doing that sometimes and, uh, you know. That sounds really nice. Go through it on easy, perfect plus and everything. Then go through it on normal. Sartorius was there. Yay. Hot and cold was there. It was, a, it was a small crew, you know, but we were chilling. It's nice to have a chill stream. Chill Friday night for those of us who didn't have plans. That was very lovely and nice. We saw Zootopia. I don't know. Is that the one where there's like a fox policeman? It's a bunny police woman okay. with a fox partner. Oh. Who's not a cop. Wait, partner that's not a policeman? Um, yeah. A civilian partner? Yeah, she has a civilian partner. Weird. Helping her out. Why um, wouldn't you go up? Oh, these you want these refreshers? I want these, uh, I want these garbage that I don't need. <laughs> Give me garbage. Um, but it was really good. I like that. This is the first thing I've heard of, of this movie. I didn't even know it was out. It just came out. I remember weekend. the trailers. I remember... With the sloth? Yeah. Yeah. I found that very funny. obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that, that trailer is funny exactly one time, and then after that it is annoying as fuck. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, but I just thought, like, especially from... I don't know. Is this... Did you see Inside Out? No. Oh. I actually wanted to see that but I missed it. I was just so impressed by that movie, even though I didn't like that one as much as I liked Zootopia, but I felt like that one was so... That one felt a lot. So nice to have for kids because it gives them, and parents, a metaphorical language for explaining the abstractions that, or like what emotions are and how you can manage them. And it just seemed like a really useful tool for picturing those sorts of things. And it, um, Zootopia really is about, really it's about, like, bigotry. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I don't, I don't know anything about the plot of that. Because the, yeah, the basic plot is that, uh, the bunny, Officer Hops, or Judy Hops, she wants to be a police officer, but, you know, there's never been a rabbit police officer, because she's a tiny little rabbit. Because the, in Zootopia, there are tons of animals, and all, there's, like, all the predators live there. You know what I mean? So she's surrounded by like oxes and bears and tigers and she's a tiny little rabbit. And it has overtones of like her being treated like in a misogynistic fashion. And also there's like tons of like overtones of, of racism because this is huge spoilers for Zootopia. Do you, do you want me to not spoil Zootopia? I mean, I don't know. If you're I, I mean, I, I encouraging people to watch the movie. Oh... Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was on the edge. <laughs> anyway, no. I thought it. Was, I thought it was really good. I can't. I'm not ready. I 
I'm, I'm not very good at explaining these sorts of things. I think, in honestly, when I read... I think I read um, Chrissy's status about the movie. Uh-huh. And I had a moment... Or I think I, it was a prolonged moment that I, my brain just moved away from instead of actually solving. Where oh. I could not remember that that was a movie. And instead was just like thinking of Fruitopia the Drink... <laughs> and Dinotopia, the book series, and like I was just like, what totally. is, is this related? I don't really know. It was not related to either of those things. Yeah. But I, I guess I was just really impressed by the way that it treated those topics, mm. and kind of like even like the idea of institutionalized racism and like how it and like each of the characters carries their own set of prejudices against the other. Like other animals and other types of animals, like it deals with the fact that the, like the predators in this one are a minority that is being unfairly discriminated against out of fear. Like it's, it, I'm so impressed by how complicated it was. Hmm. And it's also like just a fun like buddy cop movie. <laughs> a bunny cop. A bunny cop movie. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh... I liked it. It was fun. There's your Zootopia review. Zootopia minute. It's the worst review ever, but <laughs> I'm I'm much better at not speaking these things out loud, <laughs> which is terrible because we've chosen this format yeah. to do this. But it's the I I just hope sometimes I need to put a little nugget of the whatever it is, the hell it is I'm trying to. Oh, I have to fall down now. I have oh, to fall down. That was worth it. Sorry, it wasn't. I didn't think this through. Oh, at least it's really close by. Oh, that's true. Well, that's not bad. But like, yeah. I, I think the last movie I oh. saw in theaters was Deadpool, and that experience was so negative that like. Oh yeah, I saw your status about uh, that. Deadpool fans are the worst. I am. Um... I don't really know a lot about the Deadpool. And, um, so I have read a couple of Deadpool comics like a long time ago, and I read him in. Oh, there was this whole series in that I can't remember right now. X Force, I think. So Deadpool is one of those things that's like ostensibly for adults, but it appeals to twelve and thirteen year old boys. That okay. type of archetype. Gotcha. And so, because of that. It can be difficult to appreciate the stuff that is genuinely funny about Deadpool because the people that like it are so obnoxious. And, like, the theater okay. experience of watching that movie was awful. Where'd you go, Regal? Yeah, at Crossroads. Yeah. Nice theater. Like, not, not a shitty theater. At 4 p.m. on a Sunday. Weird. And we're surrounded by teenage boys... Who would not oh. shut the fuck up for the whole screening? But we're back here. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is where we must have come in the first time. Yeah, and you fell somewhere over here. Did you ever take the stairs? Mm, no. Oh, I just uh -oh. walked right past that the first time we came in here. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, anyway, right. I think right. I like the Deadpool movie, but I hate, hate, hate the people that we saw it with. <laughs> Or the people that we were subjected to seeing it with. It's terrible. Well, I'm sorry you had such a poor experience. And it's just like... The same... Like, I don't know. I had preconceived notions going in about the people that like Deadpool and about the stuff they post on social media and stuff and how they're generally kind of misogynist assholes um, who find Deadpool funny for the wrong reasons because it's like, funny someone who fucking tells it like it is and it's just... Yeah. Fucking kills people and is badass and fucks people and bleh, bleh. it's just terrible. And <laughs> is that what the Deadpool fandom is like? Kind of, in a lot of ways. No, oh, I tried to jump. I tried to jump. But we, we already, we've been to I that. I got confused about where I was. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'll go back. Continue right. your Deadpool story. No, it's just a rant. I don't even know. It's not even worth it. There were parts of the movie that were funny, but then there were parts of the movie that were not funny because other people were literally reciting the lines of the movie while it was happening. Really? Yes. How long is the movie about? Three fucking weeks, I think. Oh. Or longer. That's longer than I thought it was. 
We expected at this point on a Sunday afternoon showing that there would be no one in the theater who would be that fanboyish. How, how do I get there? How do I get to that middle part? The, go, no, no, no. Go up the stairs. But this just takes me to the top deck. Does it take you to the same area of the top deck that you've always been? Oh, uh, well, yeah, it does. Oh, okay, I'm missing something, right? Yeah, missing we're something. missing something for sure. Wait, is there a way to fall down in the exact center? Uh, that's what I'm wondering, you know. No, the, both those stairwells go... Hold on. Do you think I could fall over here? Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I know what I need to do. I could be totally wrong, but I'm going to try it. I th think I know. Also, I haven't seen that pool, so I can't comment. Yeah. I just mm. know, isn't he the, the merc with a mouth? Is yes. That, but, like, the whole... His whole concept is that, like, he's an R-rated superhero. And also, isn't he, like, aware that he's in comics or yeah, something? Yeah, he like breaks that? the fourth wall all the time, so... That's, like, his deal. Oh! What the fuck? How... Where do you fucking go? I don't know. I'm so confused. I feel... These environments make me feel like such a dummy. No, it's, it's definitely going to be some aspect wow. of the verticality. That's the whole thing with this dungeon. Yeah, yeah. What a terrifyingly poorly constructed ship. Mac. Mac. So there's actually two of these vertical yeah. uh, sort of alleys with two stairs up. They are, yeah, yeah. There's two of them. Right, they are on the other side of the ship. Uh, so we got to find a way parts? into one of them. This is definitely not, this is not going to take you anywhere. Right. Oh, yeah, these just go. Okay. okay. So we gotta go up here again. This is not the way. Wait, how do I get out? You, oh, at the very There's only one way. You have to go around to the top. It's not this way. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, <laughs> only on the crazy. other side of the ship? You're on the bottom level, right? Yeah. So the only way is the very top right, but the only way to get there is by looping around the entire room of the Oh my god, this is the, the worst ship. Yeah, it sucks. Imagine if you need to go, need to go this far down on the deck. To the, to the... Oh man. Did I tell you about the terror? I think I might have. The terror? By Dan Simmons. Who is not the best man, perhaps, but I really liked the terror. I don't remember if you did. I've forgotten all of the specific details about the ship, but... Okay, okay, so what is this business? Uh, it's about a ship that's trapped. It's roughly not, turn of the century? It's definitely not this. This is not, yeah. Uh, uh, it's not any of this. Uh, see, there's stairs right there. Uh, get there. How do you do it? What's the way? That was the go way. Up, go up these stairs for a second. Yeah. Uh. Mm, it's just all the same shit up here. Okay, go back down. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What am I missing? There's got to be some other hole in the floor to get down. I'm so dumb. It, it's not, it's definitely not just walking through the walls. It can't be. I know, we've got to fall down somewhere probably, but I don't know. Like, it can't be that, right? Can't be what? These, these sides? No, because... Let's just this back here. And there's stairs up up there, too. There's stairs on either side. Because this is a waste of time. Uh, hop, hop, hop. Officer hops. Such a cute thing. Full, full tears disclosure, I cried basically through the entirety of Zootopia. I was very moved. What the fuck is this place called? Yeah, it's Max Ship. Max Ship. Yeah. Maximum Ship. Alright. How the fuck? Are you go is that your exact Google text? No. How in God's holy name? Because I wonder if it has something to do with this business. Alright, alright, alright. You've got to go... Because there's monsters up here I haven't gotten to yet. Yeah, we're gonna figure... Are we supposed to be climbing something?